Digital issues are extremely diverse, so how to govern them will also vary. Still, if our goal through governance is to harness tech's benefits while curbing its harms, we can broadly affirm two things. The first is that national level action is not enough. And the second is that even when we move beyond the national level, pure interstate cooperation is not sufficient. This can be seen across digital issues like governing content online or harnessing technology for development cooperation. All in all, this leads to my main point, which is that we need multi-stakeholderism. I know that this is not a very new conclusion, but it's true. Of course, multi-stakeholder arrangements will also vary by issue. Still, the governance of online content, which I mentioned before, provides an example of what this can look like. I'm thinking of the Christchurch Call, an initiative that has led to real action. The terror attacks of 2019, where the perpetrator live-streamed the Hina's acts, was a wake-up call on the need to collaborate. Over 130 states, companies, and civil societies uh, organizations were present. The call has crystallized into a new approach to governance. We acknowledge that platforms are in the best position to moderate user content, but regulation can imbue this with due process and a risk-based approach. In addition, civil society plays a fundamental role in protecting rights where companies and states may be unable or unwilling to do so. Examples of this new approach are popping up, even though it's not yet the majority. For example, we see some risk-based approaches in the European Union, Australia, and even Singapore. Let me stress that these examples are not perfect, but all in all, the call shows that it is possible to find common ground, and these formats are needed in other digital issues. We're witnessing similar efforts in a polarizing area of digital policy, AI. As we know, the UN is building governance frameworks most recently through a high-level expert group. While it is a good start, there are some pointers to keep in mind. Firstly, will we also need a dramatic wake-up call for multi-stakeholder frameworks to be fruitful? Secondly, are these emerging frameworks truly multi-stakeholder? In particular, is civil society given not only formal presence, but also actual power? And finally, how can we make it a global effort and not a regional one? Finding common ground indeed becomes more difficult the more stakeholders we engage. I'm sorry to finish my intervention with more questions than answers, but still I hope the main message comes through. If multi-stakeholderism keeps being brought up despite its challenges, it's precisely because it is very needed.